This is Twit. Google announced a wide range of new products and services at yesterday's Google I.O. Developers Conference keynote. Seth Weintraub is publisher and editorial director of the 9 to 5 sites. Dom Chemilewski is a senior editor for Recode. And Peter Patchell is Mashable's tech editor. And I welcome all three of you. Uh, who are all reporting in from essentially the press room at Google I.O. Welcome to you all. Thank you. All right, so um, we're we're gonna we're gonna be switching back and forth rapidly between all of you. So, but let's start with you, Seth Weintraub. Android Wear was clearly the star of the show. All the sessions that involved Android Wear were mobbed, and of course, the booth where they were demonstrating Android Wear watches were also mobbed. Uh, so, Seth Weintraub, let's talk about uh, the Android Wear announcements. What new information did we learn yesterday? We have lost <laughs> Seth. Okay, so we'll throw that to Don. Uh, uh, can you can you address that question, Don? And we, we we've lost Don. As Don well. and Seth, we have lost the two people in the convention hall. Okay, but so we have Pete. We have Pete, our glass hole okay. in chief. Uh, welcome so much. Uh, thank well, you so much for having a connection. I appreciate that. Yeah, I guess I guess yeah, the bad place to be is inside the press room. And here I thought I would have had the worst connection, uh, being a wireless. But anyway, um, yeah, Android Wear, you know, we we learned basically um, who's going to make the first ones, uh, although we kind of already knew that. Um, but now we know how much it's going to cost. And I, I've actually got both of the first watches on right now. Um, this one here is the Samsung Gear Live. That was the one surprise that had not been announced before. Uh, and this is the LG G watch. And that's a little dormant right now because actually I found out that you can only have one Android Wear device uh, paired with your phone at any one time. So I have the Gear Live uh, uh, right here. We also basically got a look at what Android Wear uh, will look like, how it's going to work in your phone and how it differs from other previous smartwatches. Most smartwatches before now have basically mirrored a very similar app paradigm that you get on a phone with tiny little icons and tapping. The Sony Smartwatch 2 works this way. Uh, the Gear 2, the Samsung Gear 2 works this way. And uh, Android Wear seems, at least it starts, to be very, I'd say 90% of the focus is on notifications and turning your wrist into a notification hub. And instead of icons, it's basically almost entirely gesture based. So it's all about swiping uh, and scrolling up and down and uh, dismissing and doing actions from side to side. There's a little bit of tapping when you want to go uh, deeper on any particular thing like the weather, you'll tap it and get a little more information. Um, but basically the whole idea is to bring you the right notifications at the right time. Uh, context is a big deal here. And uh, I think a lot of the groundwork that Google did with Glass, even though it's not Android Wear specifically, uh, what they did with this device that I'm wearing in terms of context has really informed what they're doing with Android Wear. It's like, okay, what do people want to see on a wearable device? Because you don't want to flood them with all the notifications that they get on, say, a smartphone. Um, so I've only just started using them. Obviously, they just became available today. Um, so far, it's, you know, it's okay. It's recording some steps. You know, that's the other 10%. Um, you know, the more sensors and stuff you put on these things, the more you can do. And uh, though these two watches seem extremely similar, the Samsung one differs uh, a little bit in that it ha also has a heart rate monitor. They're really big into heart rate monitors, Samsung, these days. Um, so those are the main things we found out. We also found out the Moto 360, the first round Android Wear device, will not be available until this summer. But it is here at the show, although they're only sort of showing it in the demo retail mode. Um, but uh, it, at least it's here, and it, it is gorgeous.